This might shock you, but God doesn't want you to be happy. Keep watching. I'll reveal what God has in mind for you that's so much better. The pursuit of happiness seems to be the North Star that guides so many of us today. Think about its power. We enter into relationships because they make us feel happy. Most of our ambitions are driven by the idea that accomplishing a certain goal, whether fame, fortune, or something else, will make us happy. And the moment that we realize that any of these don't bring us the happiness we expected, we move on to something or someone else. So what exactly is this motivating force that has the world under its spell? Well, happiness is defined as a feeling of pleasure. It's an emotion of euphoria, excitement, or bliss. And therein lies the problem. Because happiness is an emotion, this means that it comes and goes. One day you feel it and the next day you don't. This is why it's so dangerous to make serious decisions based upon whether or not you feel happy. Now, certainly, God wants you to enjoy your life and find peace and satisfaction in living. He doesn't want you miserable or downcast. But we must be careful that we don't look to people, possessions, or life circumstances to give us a feeling of well-being. Your spouse was never intended to make you feel good all the time. Your work was never intended to be the source of your security. Your house, car, boat, or bank account was never meant to be the measuring stick of your success. Don't pin your reason for living on any of these ever-changing things. God provides something so much better for us, something that remains. The Bible says that God provides us joy, and the difference is substantial. Whereas happiness is a fleeting emotion, joy is a state of gladness, peace, and contentment. You can be joyful through trials, times of sorrow, or even when things aren't going your way. Because ultimately, joy and satisfaction that it brings is the result of decisions you make to trust in the unchanging qualities of God and the assurances of His Word. Here's a word of victory to help you cultivate joy in your life. It's from Nehemiah 8.10. Declare this, the joy of the Lord is my strength. Now begin to shift your focus from what's going on all around you to the promises of God. Things like, God is my protector. God is my comforter. God is the lifter of my head. Do you feel the joy in that? When you stop chasing an ever-changing feeling and set your eyes on your never-changing God, then you'll experience a peace and satisfaction that endures the tests of time.